Oh. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shota Sprung, and today I got my boy Peace here with me. What's up, guys? So in today's video, we are in front of Kappa Zushi, which is another conveyor belt sushi restaurant in Tokyo, Japan. And we haven't been in this one yet, so let's go check it out. We haven't made any reservations, so I don't know if it's gonna be crowded because it's 12 o'clock right now, so it's lunchtime. But uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, so we are inside right now. Like getting inside was actually really easy. You just go to the touch panel and then you just check in and we didn't even have to wait. It just took us right to our table. It's actually weird today because usually at conveyor belt sushi restaurants, they have sushi on these bottom belts right here. Just rolling around, you can just pick up whatever you want. I don't, they're not doing that today. So you just order sushi and that's the only thing that's gonna be on the conveyor belt today. So I think that's like pretty cool. And also like right here too. And usually the wasabi is also on the conveyor belt, but since they're not using the conveyor belt like usual, they just have it all right in front of you already. So that's like, I think that's pretty cool. Like what you're trying to do to like help prevent the spread of it. So usually these conveyor belt sushi restaurants, there's a touch panel where you can order from, but if you don't want to touch it because you know, you don't want to get any germs, you can just click on order with your smartphone and you just get this QR code. You just scan the QR code and then you can order it off of your phone, which I think is pretty cool. You wanna go get a drink? Yeah, let's go do it. 12 seconds later. Definitely getting that. 100 yen for gyu karabi. So kalbi sushi. For a hundred yen, that's one dollar. So this is all 100 yen. This is all one dollar. I'm excited. I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm starving. Hey right, guys, ready to start ordering? Let's go to Nigiri. Let's stick to 100 yen. So I think at Sushiro, you can order up to five items, right? Was it five items? Five items. Yeah, per order, but here it's only four, so we're about to be sitting here for a while ordering sushi. So in Kapazushi, if you make a reservation, you can get three types of all-you-can-eat menus. Regular course, special course, and premier course. Even the regular course is about $17 and special is about $20 and premier is about $20 to $24. It's very inexpensive, so if you guys want to have an all-you-can-eat menu, you can totally do that. This sushi right here, as you guys can see, it's all from regular course, so you can totally get this with the cheapest option for the all-you-can-eat menu. Kapazushi is the only conveyor belt store that has all you can eat menu so if you guys want to just eat much as you want i think it's pretty worth it and these all white plates are 100 yen so if you eat like what 17 18 plates you can get your money back and you will get a drink bar so you know it's pretty worth it yeah in my opinion yeah all right so we get ready? Six? Oh yes all right how many did we order we ordered one one two three four five we ordered 27 dishes but they i think they got tired of us ordering so much so they started putting two orders onto one plate and they did that for one, two, three, four, five. So we have 32 plates. 16 each. I mean, we have to taste this tuna. Okay. That's the most important part. You're right. But right. I'm gonna taste it with wasabi and show you. Okay, cheers. cheers. I put a lot of wasabi on it. <laughs> I ate tuna. I usually don't eat tuna because I think I'm allergic to it. I don't know, every time I've eaten tuna, it's like irritating my throat, so. I might be a little allergic to it, but it's still really good. Like I like the taste of it, so that's why I just went for it. But I'm only gonna eat one. And if you get the basic course of the all you can eat, you can have 70 stuff, 70 different types of menus. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy. You can even get uh, udon and stuff on all you can eat, fried potato, fried yeah. chicken. It doesn't matter. That's actually a really good deal. Okay, so I want to try this coleslaw. This is a coleslaw sushi. I've never had coleslaw sushi, so should I just eat it by itself? Like no, no soy sauce? Yeah, probably. No soy sauce. No soy sauce. All right. Mm. That's really good. You act like that's the best one you ever had. I mean, it's really, I, I didn't expect it to taste like that. I've never had coleslaw sushi, so <laughs> I like that. These ones are uh, shredded tuna and yams. I mean, you cannot go wrong with yams. Mm. Do you like yams? I don't know. You don't know? You never tried yams? Mm. I love yams. Like, Japanese yams are so good. That's not for me. You don't like yams? Wow, bro. So usually when you order sushi, they put two of the same sushi on one plate, right? But sometimes if you want to eat more than just one sushi on one plate, they put tuna and shrimp on one plate. So you can enjoy two different types of sushi 
with one order instead of just one type of sushi. That's smart, bro. That's smart. That's genius. So this right here is pork, and it's limited time. Yeah, so this is like limited time only. Yeah, it looks really good. I think it's like a little spicy, but I don't know. Let me try it, so. That's really good. Mm. It's like it has a little uh, spice to it. So this right here is a squid. Nice little <laughs> squid. Like the actual sushi itself. Yeah. I like cup sushi the best. They're rice Very dry, but like the fish itself, I like cup sushi a lot. Alright, which one are you excited about? Man, you already know what time it is. It's time for your, your boy. California sushi, you know, it really depends on sushi chain store, right? The sushi don't want, that's all right. They have some fry stuff in it. I'm not a big fan of fry stuff, so like, you know, it is what it is. But this one, bro, check this out. They have onion, they have mayonnaise, they have avocados, shredded tunas. Oh, they have egg and cucumbers. That's, that's a really that's the type of roll that I like, bro. You really messed up the sushi, though. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of raw onion, and I'm not a big fan of mayonnaise, but I'm pretty sure the avocado will help me out. Should I put the soy sauce on it? No, nah, eat it by itself. Eat it by itself? Yeah, so you know what it tastes like. Mm. You like it? Mm. So that's a good. California roll, right? Mm -hmm. well, what's, what's the pink stuff? Shredded tuna. Shredded tuna. Oh, okay. It's really good. Mmm. A mixture of a bunch of flavors in your mouth. What's again? Boom. What's your favorite so far, man? So far? I think the coleslaw was actually really good. Really? The coleslaw? Yeah, but I want to try the kalbi because I love yakiniku. Whenever I go to yakiniku, this is always what I get. So I don't know if you know what uh, yakiniku is, but you basically go there and you grow all your meat like right in front this of you. This is Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue. Bro, what did you say? I can't wait to finish all this food. I'm so hungry. Bro, you say you're full. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe because like I didn't eat breakfast, so like my stomach wasn't warmed up. So I just need to warm up my stomach, and once it gets going, I'll be able to like get on a roll and start finishing. Which will never happen. It will happen. It will? It's about to happen. It's about to happen right now. Are you sure about that? Yeah. How many places do you eat? I eat um, like six. For people who don't like raw stuff, you know, we have a cooked shrimp with some cheese and mayonnaise on it. Why everything have to have like mayonnaise and cheese when they cook? So what is that? That's ikura, so it's a fish eggs. And last time we ate kazunoko, but this is a different type of fish egg. It's more mild. It's not sour, it's not like bitter or anything. This thing is very mild. So if you're trying sushi for the first time, I think go for ikura for first, because it tastes like fish, but it's not too strong of a taste. So I'm really big fan of it. Get there. Okay, so if you come here with little kids, they have a kids menu, and you can also get nigiri. So this is like a little sushi bento. They have a curry set bento. They also have some rice with like vegetables and chicken, so they're like pretty healthy for like little kids and stuff. So if your kids don't like eating like the normal sushi, you can just always order these uh, little kids menus. So I think that's pretty cool. So what we have here is a type of mackerel fish, one of the healthiest fishes you can eat. And as you can see, it's on a different type of plate than the other ones. This one's a hundred yen plate. This one's 180 yen plate, so it's a little bit more expensive, but it's because you get that good quality fish and it looks delicious. Mm. Mm. Try it. Oh, it's so good. This is so good. <laughs> like, what? It's delicious. You can say it, bro. You're struggling. With what? With sushi. Because it's so good? They have ginger in it too, I just realized that. <laughs> I like how you're trying to curve it. No, they have ginger under the fish, which just makes it so much better. Mm. Would you like to have some more? You have one more? I'm down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished all of our sushi. We had about 24 of the regular plates, 3 of the more expensive ones. So this is 180, these are all 100 yen. And when you're done, just grab your tablet. And then, let me change it to English real quick. So, pay. So when you open that up, you can see that there's a list of all of the orders, the items that you ordered. And once you have all that, just click on pay. So once you do that, grab the ticket that you got when you first came in, when you first checked in, and you just take that to cashier, and you pay there. You just take the ticket that they gave you when you first checked in. 3,608 yen. For two people, eating a lot of sushi, not that bad. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So this place is called Kappa Sushi, and there's only eight in Tokyo. 
but very good place to go eat you can never go wrong because i always leave full if you guys like sushi i definitely recommend checking this place out you got anything to add uh they have 300 stores all around japan though 300 so, stores all around in japan so you can eat wherever you want basically. exactly yep so hope you guys like the video if you like the video hit that like button down below subscribe to the channel if you like our content and i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.